Hi everyone, my name is Michelle. In today's ZBrush tutorial, I'm going to show you 5 shortcuts to apply your mask. First, let's open up a new document if you need to, under document and then new document. With double size turned on to fill up your whole screen with the canvas space. If you have just launched your ZBrush, you can go ahead and press comma to turn off your light box. Then, let's go to Tool and Sphere 3D. Click and drag in the middle of the canvas. Press T to switch it from 2.5D default canvas into 3D canvas. Then, click on Make Polymesh 3D to activate the polygons. Before showing the first method, I am going to show you how to activate your mask pen. Just press Ctrl key and it will switch the default standard brush into mask pen. The stroke, I'm using freehand stroke, which is equivalent to painting. You can select others, but for method number one, I will use this, Alpha. Currently, I have none on, but I'm going to use one of my own custom Alpha I have just made. If you want to know how to make a good 2D Alpha, head on to my previous video linked above. Okay, now let's begin with method number one. This is the simplest method, which is to paint over your model like a paintbrush. Holding down control, cover whichever area you want to protect like a band-aid, leaving behind the other parts of the model to edit. If you're using alpha, it will be used as a brush pattern. If you don't want any pattern, go back to alpha and click alpha off. You can go ahead and paint it with the regular round brush. The brush size is adjustable with the slider or with the S key. And the slider will pop up for you to adjust. Next method is pressing Ctrl and instead of brushing on a model, I'm going to switch to my own alpha number 2. Click outside and drag. You will see the pattern grayed out on the model. However, as you can see, the mask is very pixelated because it has only 8,000 active points. In order to make a seamless, smooth edge, we need to divide it up to 2 million points. Go to Geometry, divide it up to 2 million by clicking this button or pressing Ctrl D a few times. I'm going to press Ctrl Click on the outside of the model, drag downwards and press spacebar to adjust the position. Let go of all the buttons. Let's turn on polyframe by pressing Shift F or pressing this button. Then press Command W to isolate it into its own polygroup. Now you can extrude it using the two methods I showed in the previous video linked above. The third method is pressing Ctrl, click outside the model. Similar to the second method, you need to begin outside the model. Then, instead of letting go of all the buttons, let go of just the Ctrl button. When you let go of the Ctrl button, that means you want to ignore the brush alpha, you just want a sharp edged rectangular alpha. This means you have masked this area in the middle and you can edit the model outside this mask area. The fourth method is very similar to the third. Press Ctrl, starting outside the model on the background, let go of Ctrl and repress Ctrl button again. Let's try it out. Press Ctrl, click background and drag spacebar to reposition, release control and repress control again. Your mask will turn green which means it has been inverted. Let go of your left click on your pen holding down control key and this is what you will get. Isolated and editable pattern from your alpha. Now I can inflate it and move it as I like without affecting the parts which have been hidden. Now let me undo this and move on to method number 5. Control, begin outside the model, click and drag, spacebar to position, release control, repress control, and release control again. 
This will give you a green mask, which means an inverted mask. It will ignore your alpha brush, giving you a sharp edged mask just like method number 3. And those are the 5 methods of masking just by pressing Ctrl. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to apply these 5 methods of masking on a demo head. Remember to click like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. And don't forget to visit mitchtintin.com for a more index tutorial. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!